Jeff Bezos is the real deal. There's different levels of importance. One of them is just motivating people and getting the public excited, getting kids excited to get into uh, that profession. And uh, Elon has done a great job with that. Richard Branson is just fun. I mean, he's, he's a cool guy. He's got uh, a rocket that's piloted that's going to take people into space. That's a cool thing. That's going to inspire people. But I think Bezos is just in it for the long run. He's not out there on Twitter. He's not out there talking about himself. He's the speak softly and carry a big stick guy. To put uh, several of the big companies in context, so Virgin Galactic is really focused on space tourism, these short uh, suborbital flights. They also have Virgin, Virgin Orbit that's going to have a rocket attached to a 747. It's gonna be air launched and it'll put small satellites into orbit. So they're actually doing launch as well as tourism. Elon has really been focused on launch. His Falcon 9 rocket has completely uh, changed the launch economy. In the last two years, Russia was do dominated the launch market because the Soyuz was cheap. The Falcon 9 is cheaper. Jeff Bezos is the real deal. His company is legit. The BE-4 engine that he's making, I think is gonna be the most important rocket engine of the 21st century. Lots of rockets are gonna be using it. Government rockets, um, rockets launching telecom satellites, and also people. He's doing things a little bit slower. He's, he got started maybe five or 10 years after Elon did, so he doesn't have that head start. He's doing it all on his own. He's not working, most of his programs are not with NASA or with the government. He's just doing this on his own. Um, I think he's got a, some spare change laying around on the couch that he can fund this stuff with. And I think he's kind of the long, slow, in the long run, he's going to really make an impact on getting to the moon, getting people in space, and really impacting the 21st century space economy.